intellectual dishonesty alert. Um, this article from Politico is an effort <clears throat> by the paid-off Lugan Press. <laughs> and isn't it ironic to use that, that, that word? But it, yet it still does apply in this case. It's an effort by the Lugan Press uh, and, uh, you know, working at the behest of the neoliberal establishment to uh, split hairs, to say, well, you know, history's complicated. <laughs> the title, Fighting Against the USSR, didn't necessarily make you a Nazi. <laughs> First of all, didn't. Why the past tense here? Why not, why not doesn't? In hypothetical situations, usually uh, the, the present tense is used. But in this case, they use the past tense. Why do they use the past tense to say, to emphasize, well, this was in the past. This happened in the past, a long time ago. Why do we care? Why do we really care? Um, so uh, my, my main point here isn't to... So, isn't so much to analyze the disingenuous, disingenuousness of this article, um, because I think it pretty much uh, is self-explanatory. What it's a reaction to, if you don't know, is this is a case of Yuroslav Hunka, who was a uh, Ukrainian uh, who joined uh, an SS unit and uh, uh, fought for the Nazis. <laughs> Uh, for but be it's okay because being a Nazi doesn't make you a Nazi. <laughs> I mean, fighting against the USSR doesn't make you a Nazi. Doesn't necessarily make you a Nazi. No, it doesn't make you a Nazi at all. Fighting the USSR doesn't make you a Nazi, but being a Nazi makes you a Nazi. I would say. I think it's fair to say that. So. What's so striking about this article, um, again, which I'm not, I'm not going to plumb the depths of the uh, disingenuousness that is on display here. Uh, that's, that's ably done elsewhere. I'll link to a place where, where you can see it done uh, quite well uh, in, the, um, in the space below. But, uh, okay... The, the thing, the th here's the thing that really just, uh, just strikes me about this article. I, I was going to say it drives me, drives me nuts or drives me batty, but I'm not driven nuts. I'm not driven batty. I'm not going to let them do that to me. Uh, it's a choice, <laughs> you know, you make a choice to let people who are dishonest, uh, you know, get to you to let their dishonesty get to you and you can just choose to calmly recognize it and point it out. All right. The, the disingenuousness starts, as I said, with the, the very title of the piece. Um, but in case you didn't know, this guy, uh, Yuroslav Hunka, uh, uh, who fought with the SS, in Ukraine was recently honored by Justin Trudeau. Uh, and it was officially honored in, in Canada as a heroic freedom fighter. And this, this is, this only echoes, of course, other, other such events. One that I recorded earlier involving John Stewart, um, at a Pentagon function at Disney world. <laughs> I mean, my God, the, the, uh, Glowage, just, just, you know, we talk about a glow up. It's one thing after another, after another. John Stewart, Pentagon, Disney World, uh, Ukrainian Nazi. Uh, but in that event, you had John Stewart, whose real name, of course, is, is Leibowitz, uh, uh, introducing a, uh, a guy, uh, from, uh, the, from the Azov Battalion. Uh, who was a Nazi. <laughs> so you had a Jew saying, here's, let's, let's all applaud for this Nazi. And that seems contradictory, I know. But 
but <sighs> there are no real uh, convictions amongst the ruling class. It's all about calculation. It's all about power. And when they uh, use an event like this, uh, it's it's just, or when they are embarrassed, I should say, in a in an, on an occasion like this, when they royally screw up, where they don't vet their information, where they don't check on their sources, and they don't think anyone else is going to look into things, um, they uh, then they, then they have to resort to. This sort of uh, oh well you know that that, that you know uh, let's split hairs here let's 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 parse this Let, you know it's complicated it, it, you know there's there's a there's a lot going on here it's not it's not just simple uh, history is complicated you know um, so uh, so the ongoing turmoil over Canada's Parliament recognizing former SS trooper Yaroslav Hunka uh, highlights one of the most important re reasons why something that's untrue but simple is far more persuasive than a complicated, nuanced, nuanced truth. I, I've grown to hate that word nuance. When I hear nuance, <laughs> I get, oh, I guess I said I'm not supposed to let, let these people get to me. But, but, but I picture just this kind of person you know oh well you know it's more nuanced let's let's have a nuanced perspective on this shall we um what's nuanced about about this particular case i mean as far as the guy being a nazi he was a nazi he, he fought with a nazi battalion he uh he he did not express any uh remorse over doing it. He was, that was something that he, he felt compelled, I, presumably by conviction, to do. Um, but this article tries to say that history is complicated because fighting against the USSR didn't necessarily make you a Nazi. Just someone who had to make, who had an excruciating choice over which of these two terror regimes to resist. Uh, so, <laughs> so they actually resort to the you know, everybody in the SS was guilty of war crimes. They're saying that's 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 a, a overly simplistic of a statement. They're nuancing something that they would never nuance in other circumstances. Okay, like okay, I'm going to turn the camera around on myself here. See, see this this lovely guy in front of you here. Uh. I was attacked by the ADL uh, and by other groups, other similar groups, because it was said that I uh, uh, was basically bad, that I was, that, that uh, I, I, I was the, because I am the company I keep, I guess. And so for that reason, they put me uh, on one of their lists as a, uh, as a dangerous, bad person. Why? Because I was categorized as being one of the alt-right. Alt and back then, of course, before this business with Ukraine started, there was no nuancing anything that smacked of Nazism, anything that was that was uh, could be said to be of uh, from from or relating to uh, a Nazi perspective or a Nazi point of view, you know, if you weren't uh, on the side that of the ADL, then you were a Nazi by, uh, by proxy, essentially, you know, if you weren't, if you didn't think the Southern Poverty, Poverty Law Center was groovy, then you were a Nazi. So, it's just, it's, it's interesting, it's very interesting turning back to this article, that now, uh, now that the, uh, the neoliberal uh, ruling regime 
is pushing so hard for war in Ukraine, for continued war in Ukraine, for the escalation of war in Ukraine, um, because to in order to establish again or to continue this proxy war uh, that they want against Russia, um, that now they they they're 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 like saying oh well just because just because you kept the company of Nazis just because you joined a battalion that was a Nazi battalion that doesn't make you a Nazi <laughs> well where were you guys? <laughs> Where were you guys a few years ago with moi? You know, where where was your defense of people like moi a few years ago when I got lumped in with Nazis because I was part of this this um uh coalition of Dissident thinkers who included national socialists, but were not limited to national socialists. Well, that didn't matter back then. Back then, that was it was just like, well, if you have th these kinds of people, uh, you know, if if you associate with th these kinds of people, if these kinds of people are in your ranks, uh, so to speak, at all, it doesn't matter. You can you can claim not to be one all you want. But you're still, we're still going to call you one, and we're still right. And anyone who, who is a Nazi, we could punch, right? Punch a Nazi. Well, suddenly they're not into punching Nazis anymore, are they? Suddenly, uh, suddenly they, they, they want to punch people who are against Nazis. <laughs> or who, who point out inconvenient things, like, you, you know, you, the people you're allying with in Ukraine... Are Nazis now? Uh, yeah, oh well. Uh, what are you? Uh, you, you? You're a Putin apologist. <laughs> now, now that's the new the new thing. No, you know, uh, punch a, a, a Putin supporter. Um, it's not punch a Nazi anymore. It's shifted. But there's there's never been any kind of. A principled position with these people. Remember, they were uh, against Al Qaeda and against ISIS for a long time, and then suddenly, uh, in the the uh, the te the early teens uh, in Syria, they were in favor of supporting ISIS and Al Qaeda groups because they wanted to overthrow Assad in Syria. And now, because they want regime change in Russia, now they're willing to say, oh, you know those 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 groups in Ukraine, those those uh, neo-Nazis in Ukraine that uh, we you know, even uh, even as late as like a couple years ago, uh, you know, even as late as like 2021 or so, we were saying, "Oh, these, these there are neo-Nazi groups in Ukraine." And then, then suddenly, when when the the you, the invasion of Ukraine happened and the, the the war started there, then it's like, "Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, they're they're." They're not really Nazis, though. Or, the, yeah, they're Nazis, but they're, they're not Nazi Nazis. <laughs> Just, you know, kind of like um, Whoopi Goldberg's uh, defense of Roman Polanski a few years ago. Remember that? You remember how uh, back then the, the, the same, these same wonderful neoliberal ruling class uh, types, they were all about, you know, well, uh, we need to we need to throw all all of our defense behind uh, this this rapist uh, director because he's one of ours uh, or whatever reason they had for for doing it. I mean, yeah, he got a thirteen year old girl drunk and and high on drugs, and then uh, you know uh, sexually assaulted her, but it's, it wasn't rape rape. <laughs>
now they're now it's like well the ukrainian nazis aren't nazi nazis well i mean where was this nuance nuance where were you guys with this nuance a few years ago and i'm not i know i'm making it about me uh and that might seem kind of narcissistic but i don't it's not just about me it's about lots of other people it's it's about how this entire uh, dissident movement was smeared, you know, because there was no such thing as nuance back then. But now, now there is, because these people don't have principles. It's just about, uh, they, they use outrage, they use moral outrage as a weapon. Uh, they weaponize moral outrage. They don't feel it. Because to feel it, you have to actually believe in something besides uh, whatever justifies your own power grab at the time. And, and, uh, and they don't. These, these, are, these are completely principleless people. Anyway, just wanted to point these things out. Let me know what you think. Leave your comment below.